So here I have the finished project I have already deployed to cloud and we're going to give this a try. So we talk about the project overview in this lecture. So this is going to be a complete e-commerce app with React, Redux and design. So if you're new to designing um, React applications using uh, component based libraries like Material UI, it is uh, similar to that but extremely easier compared to Material UI and it is very popular as well, probably the most popular um, component based uh, styling framework for React. So we're going to use Ant Design and we will also be using uh, Firebase. Even though it's a full stack app, we have our own database and everything, we will be using Firebase just for handling authentication, for login registration, login with social networks. For this part, we will be using Firebase, but we will still be saving the user in our database as well. So I have used Firebase in a bit of a smart way just to avoid writing your own authentication because Firebase is a very good uh, especially for authentication so we don't have to worry about forgot password reset password sending um, confirmation emails um, even uh, refresh tokens all that will be handled by Firebase so it will be a much easier and much reliable authentication system for us and Firebase authentication is completely free so you don't have to worry about that as well so we will use a fibers and you will see how you can integrate this and this is a great feature from now on um, in almost any application i will be using fibers authentication why not right this is um, industry standard it is great it is easy to use and i have done it in a way that we still save the user in the database so it is no different than having your own authentication uh, let's go through the uh, the front page here so we have products here so these products have a lot of other information i have just decided to keep it very simple here just show the name price image and the bit of a description right but you can click here to view the entire product information and we have this rating system as well and this is a perfect rating system you can see this rating uh, the two users have left the rating so one user left five star one user left four star so we get the average of 4.5 right so each user can leave only one star no duplicates and they can always update their rating and then that will reflect here we calculate the average so it is one of the very exciting feature i've always wanted to uh, build so i have done that in this course as well so we have the rating system we have multiple image upload not just one more than one all right we will check out the single uh, product view page very soon so let's go down here we have the pagination as well at the moment i have only uh, three items here i don't have i need to create some more but as soon as you have more products you will get more pagination here base sellers new arrivals fetching the products by a created date and then um, the amount of items they have been sold so whichever product has been sold most will appear here so when we sell the products we take care of a lot of other things and then we have the categories and we have the subcategories so each category for example if you go to laptop you can see we have three products in the laptop right if you go to our desktop uh, there is no product in the desktop at the moment i need to create some more and you can see the uh, subcategories as well so we have many different subcategories let's try lenovo i have one product only all right so when you create a product you will pick one category which will be like a parent category main category and then there will be option to choose the sub category there is a lot more now let's go have a look at the single view okay so here we saw the uh, single product view so we have the image carousel here we have multiple images here and we have the tabs I haven't written much but of course you can write more you can show more information this comes from the database we create the description when we create a product all right and we have all this information for this single product so we have the price category this is clickable if you click you can see other products that share the same category for example if you click this you can see that category has other products as well okay 
and shipping we have shipping color brand available how many available if you sell one if the customer buys one then it will go down to 48 and you can see it's one sold okay so here you can also show the related products to the user you have add to cart feature add to wish list and login to leave a rating okay so user can do all this so let's try let's try add to cart okay so user haven't logged in yet but still they can add to cart so this is one of the cool feature because sometimes in real world you don't want to ask them to sign up straight away you want to give them the ability to at least add to cart so that they feel more comfortable you know before they enter their login details and everything so add to cart we have that uh, sidebar as well you saw that and here they can adjust the quantity they can pick the color as well so this is one additional thing i wanted to show you because uh, this can be uh, super useful all right so not just um, the standard product information we allow them to pick their favorite uh, color as well okay and they can remove here they can remove if they want to let's go add one more product view product okay let's add to cart okay good cart and you you can um, delete the product if you want to okay no worries now you can see it's uh, 5000 two items you can see it calculates in real time you can see all right now you have two options you give users two options one login to checkout and one is pay cash and delivery so i did this as a bonus because this can be super useful for many different uh, uh, local businesses out there all right so let's log in to check out all right i might actually have to register first let's register okay so once you register you will get an email email is sent to your email address click the link to complete your registration so user cannot just uh, type whatever garbage and then they expect to uh, get the login they can't because unless they check the email and verify the link uh, we are not saving that user in the database so that is another great feature that you will learn in this course all right so let me go check my email Alright, so you can see here we've got the the email confirmation email let's click here and we can send such email and we can send the link so user will click on this link and they land here so here they can enter the password so let's let's add a password and complete registration all right now you can see they are successfully logged in and user can go to the dashboard and this is the user dashboard user can see their purchase history at the moment this user haven't bought anything so there is nothing here they can update the password and they can add products to wish list which will appear here okay so this dashboard is really simple for user but for admin there will be a lot of other features as well so if um, admin user is logged in their dashboard will look different okay so let's say user is trying to go um, finish the purchase here so they will click on this button up previously it said login to checkout and if they log in they will be redirected back to this space but because we had to register we are um, back here this way okay so let's click here to proceed to checkout and here user will be able to enter the delivery address if they have some coupon they can apply the coupon as well so this is another great feature you will learn how to create coupons and how users can apply the coupons all right and you can see there is a total for this uh, purchase now let's try um, address let's say uh, sydney and if they have coupon they can apply here for example 2020 this coupon is a valid one so let's hit save all right so address saved let's apply the coupon and you can see once uh, a valid coupon is applied you can see the payable is only 750 that means 90 percent off so this coupon code has 90 percent off all right so they can place the order i guess so here for testing purpose we can use this number 
and this image this is a default image because of the CSS it doesn't look like an image but yeah feel free to customize it all right so let's enter the number all right and user can pay all right so once they pay they will see this information uh, payment success will see it in your purchase history so if a user clicks here now they are landed in the dashboard previously it was empty but now you can see um, they have the order information so order number total amount a currency used uh, paid by the card all this information is here and the status is not processed okay so this is status will change when admin update the status okay so you can see uh, this user purchases this product that's the price that's the the brand quantity and so on okay so they can download the pdf as well the invoice okay so let's save that and let's see how it looks all right so you can see order invoices is here the product and the quantity and everything and then the total paid okay so this is great this is uh, how a user experience our app now there is so much more that our uh, admin can experience and we have extremely um, advanced searching and filtering with loads of options here which we're going to explore in the next lecture because it's been quite long already let's play around with this application some more in the next one or two lectures before we start coding